The U.N. Security Council voted in support of the three-phase ceasefire proposal outlined by President Biden. The plan aims to bring this months-long conflict to an end. Hamas said it welcomed the move, something Secretary Blinken called a, quote, hopeful sign. 14 votes for, no votes against. Something quite rare uh, at the Security Council these days. And I think that speaks volumes, too. CBS News foreign correspondent Chris Livesay joins us now from Tel Aviv. Chris, where do we stand on peace negotiations? Hey, Lindsay. Well, uh, Bl uh, Blinken, as you know, is, is here in Israel in the region. He was here this morning. Uh, he basically said that uh, it's up to Hamas, that if there isn't a ceasefire deal that would also see the release of hostages, that Hamas will be to blame. And then he went on to point the finger at one guy who was hiding 10 stories underground in Gaza. And that one guy he was referring to is Yahya Sinwar, the head of Hamas in Gaza, essentially the man who is calling all the shots uh, when it comes to uh, the ground war uh, that Hamas is is, uh, is participating in in Gaza right now. now we've spoken to the uh, former Shin Bet interrogator. Shin Bet is like Israel's FBI. This man spent dozens and dozens of hours with Sinwar when he was an Israeli prisoner. Uh, and he told us that according to the profile, the very detailed profile that he made of Sinwar, there's no way that Sinwar is ever going to agree to a, to a ceasefire to release any of the hostages. And that if we're up to Sinwar, uh, he would go down like the fighters of the Alamo. I mean, this is the kind of person that we're dealing with. So if it really is up to this one man in Gaza, then we still have a long way to go. That being said, uh, we know that Blinken said that that uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has reaffirmed his support for that ceasefire deal. And now we have uh, the uh, uh, Hamas is also also saying that they have accepted uh, Biden's version of that uh, proposal, which is uh, before the Security Council as, as well. They just need to hash out the details. And again, we're waiting, according to uh, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, we're waiting for Hamas to come back with their conclusion on that proposal. And Secretary Blinken is in Jordan today. How would you characterize his visit to the Middle East so far? Do you think it's moved the needle at all? You know, he came at a very critical time on the heels of that raid uh, of the two apartment complexes in Nusrat, Gaza, to free those four hostages that we've seen the very dramatic footage by now. Uh, he, that that raid has certainly sent shockwaves, a huge boost of morale uh, throughout uh, Israel, which has been suffering from this, you know, existential crisis ever since October 7, when they uh, had that Im immense security breach. Uh, and you know, Israel now also hopes that it's going to push the dial and be some kind of a sea change with Hamas, that they'll be scared into uh, accepting a deal because they may feel like their time is numbered if. Israeli fighters can penetrate so deeply behind Hamas lines to save these hostages, maybe they're also capable of getting Hamas leadership. So this is the context in which, uh, in which Blinken visited the region. And just by being here, putting that U.S. pressure on both Israel and Hamas, it's a lot. Chris Livesay, thank you.